Hello and welcome to this brand new episode here on Flowshop. My name is Joseph. In this tutorial, all I'm going to be showing you is how I get to color match in Photoshop. So the very first thing that we're going to do is to identify the luminance problems that we have before we go ahead and change the colors to match them. And the way I go about that is to create a hue saturation adjustment layer pull down the saturation, create a curves adjustment on top of the hue saturation and then just boost the contrast. So doing so makes me realize that the face is totally brighter as compared to <clears throat> even the jaw area coming down to the rest of the body which is darker and then the fingers kind of like in between um, the, the bright of the face and then the darkness of the, sh of the neck and shoulders. So what essentially we're going to be doing right now is making sure that the luminance value of the face matches that of the neck. Not exactly the same because the light source anyway came from the top and the fall off demands that the face be slightly brighter than the rest of the body since that's the first part receiving the light. So we're going to match the face to the, to the rest of the body and then we're going to be matching the neck and shoulders to the face and then we're going to be matching the fingers to the face and then the fingers to the rest of the body as well. Alright, create a new group and name the group color match. So the very first thing I'm going to do inside the group is to create a curves adjustment layer and pull down the brightness of the face. Now pulling down the brightness of the face essentially adds a lot more color and a lot more contrast. So um, you can tell that it affected the entire image and that's not what we're looking for. We're looking at targeting just the face. And it's because the layer mask attached to the curves adjustment is set to white, it's adjusting everything in the image. So I'm going to hit Command or Control I to invert the layer mask, paint with white, just over the face. And you notice that it's just the face that is getting darker wherever the brush stroke covers and there we have it already darkened down just pass the brush over the fingers as well all right now you can tell this looks too much this is overdone so i'm just going to go into my opacity of the case adjustment and pull it down as like so all right now anytime I mention that you boost um, or anytime you darken down an image you add more contrast and you add more color so I'm going to go to I'm going to create a hue saturation adjustment on top of that and I'm just going to pull down the saturation of this curves adjustment that we've created and a little before and after you can tell it's, it's toned down the saturation of it but it's affecting the entire image so I'm going to hit this tool this icon, sorry, which is going to clip the hue saturation onto the chaos adjustment layer, and so she's affecting that part. All right, now we're going to move to color. Color works slightly differently. So, on top of the group, just going to show you what I'm going to do. I'm creating a blank layer. I'm hitting Shift, Option, Command, and E, and that is going to merge everything that we've done so far and put it on the layer that I created. Now the reason you don't you don't have to do this. I'm just showing you um, how I can determine the kind of colors that are in image and how to correct that. So with the color picker tool and the eyedropper, when I click over here, you can tell that this is the area that is dominating on the side of the face. When I go up a bit, you can tell it's a little bit reddish and it's bright and it's a little bit um, desaturated as well. When I move to the neck area, you can tell that that is more red. That is darkened down and it's a little bit saturated as compared to the face so it means that if we need to match the face to the neck we need to add a little bit more red we need to darken it down some more and we need to desaturate it still some more when i check the finger area you can tell it's the same it's just in between the face and then the hands and so we can balance that out easily all right so we're going to delete this since we don't need it anymore and then inside the color matching um, group that I created. I'm just going to create a hue saturation adjustment layer again and I'm going to 
clip it down to the layer below again since we're just affecting the face and then the fingers all right so i'm going to go into the reds i'm just going to boost the reds in the face a little bit more because you, you remember we need a lot more red in the face and we need less yellow so i'm going to go into the yellows this time and then pull down the yellows in the face not so much but just enough so it looks balanced out all right i'm going to create another care for just one layer Where are you? Okay, and what I'm going to do this time is hit my target tool again, move to the neck, and brighten it like so. I'm going to hit Command I to invert it one more time and then just paint over the neck area. And anytime you brighten again in an image, you lose saturation. So I'm going to create a hue saturation on top of that. I'm gonna clip it and boost saturation of the neck area. I'm just gonna go into yellows, increase the saturation of the yellows as well to add more yellow to the neck. Go into the reds and pull down the reds. So everything that we included in the face we are essentially taking out of the neck area. Do it before and after and you can tell that also matches up to the face a little bit. I'm going to create another chaos adjustment layer and I'm going to darken down the midtones. Hit Command I and paint that over the fingers some more just to darken it like so. And maybe just a little bit over the chin area. And a little bit over the neck area as well. Just to balance things out slightly, like so. All right, let's see what we've done so far. I think the neck looks too bright, so I'm just gonna go in there. To the neck brightness, and just still pull down the capacity like so I feel this area looks too dark so I'm just gonna um, just get another case just to be on the safer side and brighten down up that area hit command I to invert it with a very soft brush and a very low flow and paint this white over that to brighten it up like so Before one after and we just brightened that area like so okay I still find there to be a little bit more yellow over here so i'm going to create another chaos adjustment layer i'm going to go into blue bump up the blues we're just going to get rid of yellow i'm going to go into green bump up the green and that's way too much green go into the reds and push up the reds a little bit to create a more brownish tone. I'm gonna hit Command I to invert it again and paint with white over this area. Let it show through. And do a quick before and after. And you can tell this helps out a little bit, just pull the opacity down a bit. All right, so essentially, I've been able to match the face of the neck and the neck to this. I still find this to be a tad brighter. I don't know why, all of a sudden. Um, suddenly, it looks just too bright. 
gonna go down under the price again. Which is about forty percent. Yeah, this looks much much better. All right, so guys, um, let me fill up the screen a little bit more. So this is before color matching. This is after. Before. After. Before. And after. Thank you very much for watching this episode. If you enjoyed it, give me a thumbs up, like, comment, share, let other people know about it. This is something I plan on doing every week. And I'll see you in the next episode. Thank you very much. Bye.